This past Friday, while in his sleep, Glenn Martin passed away. He is the grandson of Alice McGovern, son of Mary Alice Martin, brother of Nicholas Martin, and a very close family of aunts, uncles, and cousins. Although not blood-related, we did in fact lose our brother. He was a big part of our work family, and for many of us, he touched our lives with his beautiful life. His career was one of passion, refused to quit, always bouncing back with greater commitment and dedication to making a difference. His loyalty was unwavering, his work ethic solid to all of us who worked with him, he will be dearly missed. His thoughtfulness and compassion was something all of us should strive to. Recently, when I invited him to our home, he called Jen and asked her what kind of cigars I smoked. It confirmed to us that he was someone we could cherish and keep close to our hearts. The struggle for all of us is why at such a young age, none of us have all the answers, but we all have the ability to remember his short and impactful life and be inspired by it. In an effort to honor Glenn Martin, I have mentioned to all of you our desire to dedicate the VIP Celebrity Lounge and rename it the Glenn Martin VIP Lounge. We will also be having a portrait made of him to be displayed here at GIGAC so he is forever remembered in our hearts. Let's all live each day to the fullest in memory of Glenn Martin. Glenn Martin was a great guy. We know that. He was giving, he was thoughtful, and he was kind. We differed on baseball, but I admired how passionate he was about his Yankees. But what I connected with most was Glenn's determination and persistence. Like me, Glenn made mistakes and missed things, but always learned and grew. He always regrouped and charged forward. He worked hard to share his spirit with those around him. He cared about people and he enjoyed watching them grow. He cared about clients and knew how important our work is to families. At 28, losing Glenn Martin is awful and inexplicable. But it's also a reminder of how fragile life is and why we do what we do proudly every day. Let's resolve to be the best versions of ourselves we can be and to help as many people be prepared for the awful times. Let's honor Glenn by doing what he loved, being the protector. When we lose someone close to us, it's painful and tragic, but we will move forward the way we do everything, together. And it's times like this that call for all of us to commit as one family to each other. We all have the privilege now to be Glenn's legacy. I am so proud to have known Glenn and to have traveled down the road with him for the time we had together. And I know so many of us feel the same way. Glenn's legacy will be the success, growth, and impact we all make on the world because we were blessed to be part of his amazing life. From my first conversation, I knew Glenn Martin was gonna be a special person. At the time, I didn't know how special he would be. Ironically, that conversation happened over the phone and was not a normal face-to-face -face introduction. In our phone call, as I was bringing him into AIL, one of the things I noticed on his resume was that he was a football player. Myself also being an athlete, to gauge his competitiveness, I asked Glenn if we were to line up one-on-one -on -one in an Oklahoma drill, who would win? Without hesitation, he declared he would win, without a doubt. Looking at his resume, I wasn't able to gauge the stature of Glenn, which is a 6'2", 285 pounds of straight teddy bear. I also wasn't able to gauge the character of this man, his mentality, or how much he would change my life. To me, the true measure of an individual is determined by what you can't measure, the intangibles. Anyone can measure weight, height, physical strength, speed, but you can't measure commitment, persistence, or the distinctive power of the muscle in your chest, your heart. Glenn impacted me, and so many others in more ways than I can convey. He was a guy that would take his shirt off his back for those he loved, even if his shirt size was two times bigger. He was a leader, a motivator, a hustler, and most importantly, a person that would go the extra mile, especially when it came to his people, 
and that's why he's a young gun. What's crazier in his story, and where Glenn came from, before working with AIL in December of 2014, he was on unemployment, in need of an opportunity that he could be passionate about. With his mindset and his determination to succeed, he came into an opportunity where he not only changed the lives of the families he protected, but the people he surrounded himself with on a daily basis, including myself. Glenn, your desire to succeed was contagious, your mindset unmatchable, your work ethic untouchable, and your heart was made of pure gold. Thank you for being the friend, leader, motivator, colleague, competitor, and brother that you were. Hammer, although you're not here with me physically, I feel your presence with me everywhere I go. Continue to guide me and give me the strength of your heart. I love you, and I'm gonna miss you so much, brother. Until I see you again. It's been a long day without you, my friend. And I'll tell you all about it when I see you again.